Here is one salvo in an attempt to explain these damning facts for Donald Trump. This is clip number nine. If you know that the facts to any sort of sentient human being are incredibly damning for Donald Trump, if you know that anyone with half a brain who spends any time looking at this, and a bunch of people may not, that this looks like bribery or extortion, which is specifically named as an impeachable offense in the Constitution. You don't have to reach criminal um, standards because it's not a criminal proceeding. It's a political proceeding. What do you say? Well, you start to sort of fantasize and create some notion of like, well, there can't possibly be any type of, uh, you know, bribery here because what if the person who is offering the bribe is so mentally incompetent that he's not aware that he's even offering a bribe he doesn't even know what words he's stringing together could you possibly sell that to anybody who who could be so naive as to think they could sell that to anybody oh is it illegal or impeachable for the president to want things that he wants investigated and investigated? Not necessarily. I mean, not really. Not unless what you're talking about is the president really attempting to leverage American foreign aid on behalf of his electoral results, purely, purely. Not as a side effect of foreign policy. Purely because he wanted Biden out. Right? And that part, honestly, like I don't actually see that in Trump's activity. And I'm trying to, people don't believe me when I say this, obviously, and, and you shouldn't, right? I mean, because the fact is I am a conservative. Yeah, I'm a Republican. But the fact is, I don't actually see objectively that Trump has ever had the level of intent necessary to do anything. I don't think that he's ever had the level of intent to put a to to eat a hamburger. I think that it's half accident when he eats a hamburger. (laughs) Like, I I really I guess the idea here is that Trump, like a laser beam focused in on Joe Biden. Then he was like, I'm going to withhold military. Positive. How like what is the mental what is the mental hill that you got to climb if you're Donald Trump to focus in like a laser beam on Joe Biden. He is the Democratic primary front runner who who is winning at least in the polls. Like what kind of a smooth, laser focus? Like how could I? That's the way I'm. I'm, I'm using special powers to isolate that individual. It's my special in America. Powers. That's what he's. He's characterizing this as. Continue. Like a laser beam focused in on Joe Biden. Then he was like, I'm going to withhold military aid to get Joe Biden because Joe Biden is just so dangerous. And I have been following this Burisma thing like a hawk. No, pause it. I was just going to say, like, it's because what he thinks about when he thinks of Ukraine is Joe Biden scandals. Of course. And look, he doesn't know anything about Burisma except for it's associated with Joe Biden, just like. Ben Shapiro or me, for that matter. I don't know anything about Burisma. It's just a word. Like, are you kidding? Like, he can't come up with the word Burisma? He knows, he's, like, he knows about bleach uh, bleach pants or bleach server, whatever the hell it is. You don't have to be a laser focused. You know, all you need to do is just hang on one word, Burisma, Biden's. That's all he had to say. It's really basically a crowd strike. Joe Biden, because Joe Biden is just so dangerous. And I have been following this Burisma thing like a hawk. Or alternatively, he has thoughts and he vomits the thoughts whenever he is asked about a particular topic. Which one sounds more like Trump to you? Thought vomit Trump or like a laser beam, 40 chess, planning out every move in the battle. He's Admiral Thrawn from the from the post Star Wars trilogy. Yeah, I I, I don't think so. First of all, there's no 4D chess here. This is the most Keystone Cops version of extortion that I've ever seen. Right. They let Serpico in by letting Bill Taylor see what was going on here. They, you know, they they thought they were talking in code, I guess, when they were on these NSC things. There's no 4D chess here. This is pretty just naked. I'm withholding this for you to give me that. How did I come up with this Joe Biden thing? 
shambolic the way they talk loudly enough to be overheard by staffers, actually. Right. There's, nothing, exactly. there's nothing super sleuth The guy this. called on an unsecured cell phone and reached the president. The president's talking. He probably did, maybe had it on speakerphone. I mean, there's no 4D chess going on here. And I don't know what thought vomit is or what, but like, what are the chances that you could actually just randomly come up with Biden and Burisma and Ukraine? How did they piece that together if this guy's so inept? It's just absurd. They are really, really reaching here. And frankly, if that's their defense... That's their frontline defense, like uh, that Ben Shapiro's offering. They're in more trouble than I thought they would be. Because like I say, I don't think this is going to hurt Donald Trump. I, I've said since day one, he will not be thrown out of office unless he's seen on videotape naked running around the front uh, lawn of the White House chasing, uh, you know, that guy in the, the mower meme or, you know, that kid or some kid. But... It's pretty sad that they can't come up with anything better than this.